Jans. We all know that Australia now has many different cultures, and we all know that our mob's the oldest. In this yarn, Descendants Indigenous Dance Group takes our culture into the thick of multicultural Sydney. Uh, we're here today for something called the Moon Festival. The Moon Festival is sort of like a Vietnamese uh, celebration that happens uh, one time a year. I think they estimated about 40 to 50,000 people in all these streets. As, as everyone knows, Cabramatta is like a little Vietnam, and, but it's through uh, the Cabramatta uh, City Council. And uh, we're looking to show the Vietnamese people what the culture's about today. It is very Asian out here. Like all we, all, all we've seen, like all, the, like all the shows they did all morning was probably all the dragon dance and that. But it was good because I haven't seen them before. I haven't seen any dragon dance before. <laughs> I hope they'll enjoy our show, and I'm pretty sure they will. Now, what we've got here, um, this is the Cabramatta community coming together to show uh, multiculturalism. We've got a very special guest today. It's the Premier of New South Wales. He's going to be here a little bit later. If he's not already on the stage now, don't know. But anyway, if we go over this way, we can see um, we can see different groups uh, performing here. We can, uh, if you have a look over here, you can see all the uh, the different um, different cultures that are partaking in today's festivities. We give a man of the match award uh, every show. Uh, that's just uh, so the dancers compete really heavily against one another. My prediction today for man of the match is Wayne Langlow. A thousand dollars. I wish. <laughs> it's 23 degrees, beautiful day today. On a Sunday, on the Indigenous Weather Channel, everything looks really good. Reporting from you live and direct from Cabramatta City Council, direct down the main street of Cabramatta, we're just about to show them the oldest cultural in the world. I've been in tears many times and, uh, you know, I, I've seen uh, Aboriginal dance maybe 10,000 occasions now, but it's never the same thing. Um, that feeling, 
that the boys give off of the didgeridoo, the singing, and some days they are in the zone. They get into this zone and it doesn't matter how many times you've heard the song or seen the dance, when they're in the zone, um, you get goosebumps. <laughs> definitely get something out of the show um, first of all I, I, the guys themselves like uh, uh, when you meet them they're just knock about sort of guys really down to earth friendly and um, it's really funny once they paint up and put their noggins on they're like soldiers going to war and once they're on stage they uh, they go into these mythical characters uh, uh, once the ochre comes on, they seem to uh, go out of character and get into this um, uh, character. And uh, they love performing and uh, it makes them feel really worthy and worthwhile that they have something tangible in their lives and something deeply spiritual. And I think the audience gets that. The sound of the didgeridoo, the singers and the dancers, that they give 100%. And... The audience definitely uh, feels that magic. What we're doing here is uh, we're looking for a permanent uh, theatre space at the moment for Descendants. 
after having travelled around the world, whatever capital city you go in, around Europe or USA or whatever, you seem to be able to see a traditional show of that country. You come to Sydney, there's nothing. And we're hunting around. We have been for the last two or three weeks since I got back from overseas, hunting around for a space uh, to home Descendants. Uh, so we've got a permanent theatre here in Sydney. Uh, the Alice Springs thing's been running for eight years very nicely. And now we're just gonna try to replicate that here in Sydney. Uh, all the guys really want it. They want a permanent job. Uh, so that'd be great. How's that for a performance? It beats my electric boogaloo. <laughs> See you later.